Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Jace the Mind Sculptor cube draft. This is probably the closest thing to power you can get in this cube. I'm going to take it. I'm going to windmill slam it into my into my thing. And I'm going to put it right in right in here. Chandra is also pretty good. If this Chandra tables, I would be thrilled. I would love to try this Chandra out. If Demir Signet tables, uh, I would love to... What up, Rukia? Uh, I actually don't have power. That's a weird question, though. That's a weird random question, right? I don't I don't actually have power. I've never invested in power. I wish I did. But it never happened. And I feel like I I feel like it's almost too late for me to jump on that ship. So I've been slowly accumulating dual lands instead. Uh Glenelanger Archmage. And by slowly I mean like one a month, if that. I like Glenelanger Archmage if we start with Jace the Mind Sculptor. I also like Draga Tree Speaker, but Ooh, Ral is it Viceroy? Essence Scatter seems pretty good in this cube, right? When Blood Moon hits the board, or Balduvian Horde, that's Lepore. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good. I like Rel, and I also like Essence Scatter. I think we're going to take the Essence Scatter. I don't think Rel's good enough to switch to switch teams here. To the, uh, to the blue-red. Not immediately, anyway. Terramander is pretty boring. Pact of Negation is pretty decent. I also really like Celestial Colonnade. Yeah, if we splash red too early, then we just don't get to end up Soul Tie, which is probably just it's not it's just not good enough. I think it's probably just packed. Again, I don't feel like we need Celestial Colonnade yet, so. I mean, I like our first four picks so far. Three of them are counter spells. Temporal Mastery? Am I Temporal Mastering? Ooh, Jace the Mind Sculptor and Temporal Mastery? Let's do it. Let's do it. That's exciting. I like Dissolve more than I like Thing in the Ice, but Thing in the Ice is a legit win condition here. <sighs> Dissolve is such a good counter spell, though. I like that we have not needed to pick any other color yet. That makes me feel good about my life choices. I think I like the Dissolve. <laughs> Nimble Obstruction is actually fine. It's weird that it's counter activated or triggered ability you don't control. Anyway, we're taking it's either that or sensor. They both cycle. This is actually a win con dungeon geasts. Okay. What was the card we wanted to come back? That six mana Chandra. That thing's never coming back. But a boy can dream. This would be the pack for it.
Ding 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 ding. Boom 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 boom. boom. Well, Professor Hickman, now you know. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle. Where's the... God, every time it takes this long for a pick, I'm like, did my internet go down again? Packrat's pretty good. Whirler Rogue is actually just fine, I guess. I'll take the Whirler Rogue. I don't love it. But I guess there's some things we could do with the Whirler Rogue. Can you imagine if opposition was legal in modern? What a time to be alive. But I guess we wouldn't be alive. Ooh, condescend? Oh yeah, we're gonna make everyone angry. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of six, seven. Yikes. Thank you. The SoCal Sal, thank you so much, Sal. Really appreciate it, buddy. Well, thanks so much, my dude. My man. Ice Flurry? Oh, the Ral came back? Huh. I don't hate that. Sort of Body Mind is also good. Ice Flurry is also good. I'm gonna take the. I want to take the Ral here. I mean, we literally just destroyed our mono blue deck, but it's still a... It's a Planeswalker that essentially starts at 6 and draws you cards every turn. And we have a bunch of spells, so we can deal the damage. Like, the, the damage dealing part is actually not terrible here. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Whatever. Take the red card. Considering my favorite. I don't know. Seen all the announcement stuff yet? New cards, upcoming sets, etc. Oh, I've seen a lot of it, I think. What's up, Spider View? Spider View. Spider View. Does whatever Spider View does. Spins a man. Any size. Spider View. Just like five. Look out. Here comes a Spider View. Use some more, some more cheap stuff. Is it signet would be nice. Last pick sensor? I'm actually game. That's actually gas. When Grixis Cube leaves, but you don't leave it. You can take the Grixis Cube out of the Magic Online, but you can't take the Grixis Cube out of the boy or some shit. You know, something like that.
Oh man, that took forever. Literal forever. I think we're just taking Jace Friend's Prodigy here. I'm not 100% on the red, and Goblin Master and Roast are good, but Jace is just very good. Yeah, that seems like an easy pick. Disallow? Ooh, and we got a Dissolve. We can have Dissolve and Disallow, and I bet this Force of Negation comes back. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to take a Polluted Delta just yet. I'd rather have a Disallow than a Polluted Delta. Oh, yeah, you can see that uh, that that Yokes is, uh, is disconnected. So, a joke, but only, only slightly. Which pizza corporation are we taking down today? I don't know, but we're going to take this cryptic command, that's for sure. Take the Vraska, you know you want, I do, I do, but right now. Oh, we're looking. This deck is looking spicy. It does look more minty. That's fair. That is a fair assessment of our of our sweet timey deck. I'll put Whirler Rogue in the sideboard for now. Our deck looks extremely obnoxious so far. What up, Apollo Barclay? Opt? I can see taking an opt. I like a spell skite. Oh, I like a treasure map too. Hmm, spell skite seems. Mm, we're not really protecting much. I'll take treasure map. Creeping down. Oh, Thassa? Hmm. Thassa's not bad. I think we Thassa here. That's a nice one. That's like perfect.
Remand? We're just getting all the good counter spells. I wonder if this deck is actually decent. Maloku's Maloku doesn't seem that bad for this deck, I'll be honest. But I'm not gonna pass up a remand. How many counter spells do we have right now? It's actually disgusting. This is kind of like a half counter spell. Oh god. There's just too many counter spells in this cube, I think. Every time raveler. Yeah, let's take the repeal. Can we pick up twin combo? I mean, that would be nice. I don't know if Twin Combo is legal because it's not legal and modern. Right? Like, I think this cube only has modern legal cards. Oh, I like a Vizier of Many Faces. This card's actually great. This is one of my favorite clones just because you get two clones. Faithless Looting is still here? That's interesting. I'm not a computer, so can't send the reset message from beloved Frank you demand, and good lord, that GM lady from the pizza was the worst. Ron Cena, a pet smart story. Okay, so, yeah, I still don't think that lady was a GM. Like, there's no way this is how a general manager behaves to a customer that wants a pizza correctly delivered. Eyes without a face. I'll take Lumbering Falls just in case. There's also nothing else in that pack. No, we're not back on the pizza. People are just, like, bringing it up. They have not responded to me, though. I messaged them last Thursday when it happened, and they haven't gotten back to me yet, so... I guess it takes a you know a, a week and change to to reply to an email. Uh, siege gang commander. I wonder if Westvale Abbey's actually good here. In the mono, oh, let's. This is a win con in our mono blue deck. Nykthos? All right, we're doing it. Can you spoil how this draft ends? My kids want to watch to catch Pokemans. Uh, we actually end up going 3-0. Uh, we counter lots of spells. We take lots of turns, and there is much rejoicing. Uh, if you're interested in the pizza story, you can also check out the latest Franz podcast with me and Andrew.
Oh, I'm taking this throne. It's my arch enemy. Moloku! Spotify, iTunes. Oops, I guess it's Google Podcasts, right? That's what it's called, not Google Play. Google Play is the name of the store. Karin, what's going on, buddy? Our deck's looking okay. Sheldock Isle. Oh, Frost Titan is a good, as a nice win condition. Do you want a Sheldock Isle? Or do you want a Frost Titan? I feel like Frost Titan's definitely the win condition we're looking for. Yeah, we'll frost tight. Pull from tomorrow. Ren and six. That's exciting. Wandering Fumeral if we want to play Ral. I'm from the music industry. I don't, well, he's had a bunch of different jobs. Like, he's had a bunch of different jobs in the music industry in very serious roles. He's worked for Equal Vision Records. Uh, he was recently touring with Carly Rae Jepsen. So, like... Oh, God, this pack is hard. I think we just want Wandering Fear so we can play the Jace. I like that. I think that's... Not that, by, by Jace, I mean... Ral. Oh, God. Snapcaster. Yes. Oh, Yes. I'm from the music industry. <laughs> I've come from the music industry. Alright, so we got a Pestermite here. We also have a Negate. Negate seems very, very good because there's Planeswalkers. We don't have anything else that goes with this guy, so I'm actually just taking Negate here. I would totally... Chris, I would say you're from the gaming industry. Well, it's, it's vague because it's just a vague description, right? Like, it's just a podcast description. It's not like I'm trying to, like... I'm not trying to give our biographies here. I'm just trying to give an idea of who we are and and the, 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 the places we might be coming from in the podcast, right? Like, the backgrounds we have that would, uh, that would color our... Wow. I like Mana Lake, I like Master, and I like Karn Liberated. I think it's Karn Liberated for sure. We are, we are. Oh, God, why are we doing this? Oh, Narset? Narset? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll Narset for sure. Okay, our deck is getting... Oh, God, now we get Expansion Explosion, and we get Augur, and we get Jace. Oh, God, things are happening, guys. Oh, I can't. This is, like, the best Augur deck I've ever had in my life. Um, this will dissolve. Instant or Sorcery? 
Wow. Well, Maloku, you can cut. 11 instances. Alright, so not Augur. Could just be Jace, actually. All right, well, we took Augur. <laughs> Teferi? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I will Twitch sub on the 13th. I hope you get my Patreon money and bought it. So I did. Actually, I'm trying to cut back on sodas, so. You would take Search over Teferi in this deck? Teferi is just a beast in this deck. Danny DB, what's going on? My, my man. I mean, I might not even want the Ral to be honest. It might just not even be worth messing up our mana base for a Ral. And that gives us an extra spot. I'll take out the Sensor. Wow. This deck is like... I fell asleep with the PC. You know what? That's hap That happens, buddy. <laughs> Chris is like, and my work is done here for today. I'll see you guys later. Uh, what happened this afternoon, my internet died, and I was really fed up with it, so I called. What the shit? <sighs> I'm about to bust. Uh, so I was really fed up with it, so I called uh, Bright House at that moment, and I was like, what's going on, dude? The youth of the nation, we are, we are. Yeah, I'll take a pull from tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to play it, but... I actually haven't watched the new Eldraine trailer. I've heard good things about it. Do you think the Watson being Rampage of Frost on its over? I'm saying you get to play Mono Red for a few more months until everyone is playing cards that spawn artifacts that you can sack for life, thus making... Yes, I was actually wondering that. I was like, well... Boy, maybe this is why they're like, just give them Rampage and Frost on, because they're going to be miserable once these food tokens arrive. All Oblivion Stone. Is Temporal Master worth it? You ever you ever you ever taken extra turns? How can okay, so here's my question. How can a food token be too slow if most of the the burn spells cost the same amount as a food token, right? Like if I'm gonna spend two mana like I covered this yesterday, where like if I'm gonna spend two mana to gain three life, and you're gonna spend two mana to lightning strike me, like that's on What's the, it's on balance, right? Like, I mean, I'm not. It's not like I'm spending more mana than you. I'm not spending more resources than you to gain life or to. I mean, the point is like you're still playing cards. Like, it's not like you got a free. Re you got a removal spell, right? I killed one of your creatures. I killed your chain whirler, uh, for four mana, let's say, and then I get a free. I get free three life tacked onto it. I don't have to. I don't have to use it right now. I can use it whenever, but it just it exists. Okay, Mana Leak comes back. That's totally reasonable. Undreamt Tuna. Okay. 
God, we have to cut three cards. I think we can cut Pact. Okay, two cards left. Oh my god, don't say yeet. <laughs> Is Thassa even good? Probably. Yeah, clues are way stronger than food. But nonetheless, like, it's still just an ability that's tacked onto cards. Thank you. Oh, Danny DB with 10, 10 gifted subs. That's totally... That's totally reasonable, buddy. Oh, do Thank we want this... You. Yeah, we want Looter for sure. But... Wow, an explosion expansion? Oh my god. Danny, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome, man. You are my dude. Thank you. I don't think we need thank pull from you. tomorrow. I also don't think we need looter, to be quite honest. All right, we need one cut now. I'm feeling better about that. Thank you. It might be remand. Like we have negate, mana leak, and essence scatter. Thank you. I want to keep the auger because we only have ten creatures, and I do like the block ability. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when this is done, I'm gonna see how many uh, instants and sorceries we're Thank looking you. at here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this isn't really about stifling. It's a 3-1 flyer. It's a win condition. I have cut soda out of my life for 18 months. Just, 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 not, just, just know or just now started drinking some diet, but generally it's like the zero kind. I know you... Like me as a man, I drink so much water with flavor hands and some ice cold. I invest in a nice thermos that keeps stuff cold for two days. Yeah, like, I'm just, I've just been, uh, yeah, so Katie was like, I'm going to try to just drink less soda. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it with you. I'll drink less soda too. And so we're both like just drinking less soda. And I was like, I'm fine with it. <laughs> like, I'll just get water now when I go out to restaurants or whatever. And... I don't know. It's been a good change. Like, I don't mind it. I don't miss it yet, so. Um, okay, so. Instant or sorcery. Let me just count how many of these jobbies I have to see if Augur is even worth it. I actually never... Uh, only nine now, huh? Does that make Augur any good? Have I lost? I don't think I've lost weight. But I appreciate you saying so. Um, yeah, so I haven't actually... I, I've I've been drinking drinking waters at restaurants for years. Like, it's just... At restaurants, it's even better. Like, despite the free refills, which are super nice. Like, only when I would treat myself, I would get a, a soda. I would be like, oh, I feel like 20 refills today, so... I actually love the drinks you, Dan. I love the drinks you're talking about. I, my problem is like a dollar each, and I'm just like, God. If I drink like one a day, it's like, it's just an extra five bucks. Or, have you brought new light bulbs? You look like. <laughs> Jokes on you, Chris. They're LED bulbs. <laughs> Water also does have free refills. That's true. So we'd play this. So on turn two, we'd play Augur. So there's going to be 32 cards left in our deck. I mean, our odds are hitting with hitting with Augur is not terrible. I think this is actually good. We can put Westvale Abbey in here. Sheldock Isle. I don't know if we have enough permanence for a Nykthos, but we might. I think it's I think it's worth it. 
It's only two colorless lands. Maybe Tectonic Edge too. Eight packs for four bucks is, is right up my alley. That seems pretty good. All right, I hope this is what we're doing. All right, yeah, we're gonna take Tectonic Edge out for now. If we end up needing it, that's fine. I mean, to be fair, we should be able to play. I, I played Cryptic Command with like 10 sources of blue. Like this is 15 sources of blue. Nyctus is not great? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, we don't have Master of Waves. We do have Thassa. I like Tectonic Edge over, over Nyctos. Like, we could just hurt their mana a little bit, I guess. I don't know. The mana base feels like the hardest part of this deck, to be honest. We are, we are, the youth of the nation. Oh god, Chris. Come on, dude. Why? Oh, baked mac and cheese? My man. All right, let's see if this does anything. Sorry, dude, I've never said no to baked mac and cheese. Well, this is unfortunate, but Jace the Mind Sculptor makes it less unfortunate, so. I think it has a bit of bake. Well, dang it. I'm just going to keep Condescend up here. I don't feel like them dropping like a Mirror and Crusader or some nonsense. And then just getting blindsided. Ooh, nothing, huh? Uh, no, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, wow. Jesus. That's incredible. Thank you. Mike, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Wow, they had Spell Pierce the entire time. I did get wrecked, nerd. That was unbelievable. We couldn't have even done it for, like, there's no way to even play around that. Sure. 
Actually, kind of like Whirler Rogue here. Uh, I don't mind the sun sometimes, the images it shows. I can taste you on my lips and smell you in my clothes. Cinnamon and sugary and softly spoken lies. You never know just how you look through other people's eyes. Um, bottom both of those. Hit another island because it's a pocket. Island Pocket! I mean, this is just the modern cube. This is just normal. I like it better because it has more variety, but I think the Grixis cube is very, very good. There's a Jawbreaker dock on Amazon. Yes, I watched it the first day it was released. Yeah, I've actually been emailing with the director of that, uh, the creator. And I've been like, hey man, when is this getting, when is this releasing? <laughs> like. You know, Torrential Gear Hulk, huh? That's pretty good. Wow, they're just being a better counter spell deck than us because one spell pierced. Yep, you got it. Huh. Uh. I meant the power like in He-Man. Wow, you just... <laughs> I like that that was literally like... Like 40 minutes ago. You're like, hey, I think you misunderstood me earlier. We were talking about power. I meant He-Man. He-Man power. One, two, three, four, five. I want to bottom this. It doesn't do anything for us right now. <laughs> Essence scatter into negate. Into negate. Vizieing the gear hook just doesn't do anything, unfortunately. I mean, it gives us a fat idiot, but... I mean, actually, we could, we could repeal a treasure. Just draw a card. I think that's definitely worth it. Oh, that's a thing. All right, well. It's basically the same as uh, four, five, six. And we can just cast Temporal Mastery next. They have five cards in hand. Fat idiots or gear hulks too. <laughs> what does that mean? Cinnamon and sugary and softly spent. Great. No beats. Now I have butthole surfer stuck in my head. Apologies. I stopped waiting to eat hot dogs for 40 minutes. Well, I mean, every who hasn't done that? Don't, no, don't mind. No, we're good. We're good. We are good. Five, six, seven.
Gonna play this card liberated. Oh, that's pretty good. Exile your flicker wisp and then I'll pass the turn. Okay, they didn't counter it. It's fascinating. <laughs> it's the same song. It's the same song. Oh my god. They didn't play anything? They said six lands and didn't do anything? What is even happening? They didn't they didn't counter. They didn't cast a flashy boy. They didn't cast a removal. They're not casting it. They have five lands in hand? That's impossible, right? Well, I mean we're blocking. Two gear hooks with five damage on each. Uh, we're not going to draw a card here because I definitely want to keep up Negate. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to play something here and then... Uh... Cinnamon and sugary and... I meant to attach this. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> and nice way. Oh, a Settle the Wreckage. That's fascinating. By the moon and the stars in the sky. Oh, I see. Um, well, that's pretty okay, I guess. Guess I don't really have a choice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's all coming together now. Now they have three cards in hand, so this uh, this Frost Titan eventually will will be wonderful. Wonderful Frost Titan. What do we got? Two blue? If we can actually play Jace, uh, we can free our Thassa and then it's then it's huge. Oh, I didn't see Gator Oracles in this cube. Through other people's lives. Yep, you can have that one too. You never know just how you look through other people's eyes. You're going to the face. That's aggressively fa that's fascinating. I am uh I'm intrigued. Do you think we'll return to Theros? We already are. We already are returning to Theros. I'm going to exile this. How does that sound? Hey, look at that. I got a Jace the Mind Sculptor, guys. Alright, let's draw three cards. Glenlander Archmage. Holy Magoli Spagoli. Do 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 Well we're gonna play land. So we're gonna put land temporal mastery back. We're gonna play the land. Let's play Glenny. Oh. Oh that's cute. But but no. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, so we activated you, activated you. Uh, the top card is actually Temporal Mastery, so that's kind of cool. I'm just going to pass here, because we still have double Glen, Glen abilities up. I mean, no. Like, there's just no way you're going to prevent me from drawing multiple cards a turn when I have Jason the Mind Sculptor out. Papa, don't preach. 
Um, we're not going to activate this again because, like, if we activate this in order to play the temporal master, we just take our total shields down. And I just don't, I just don't feel like doing that. I will, however, cast this guy. Um, tap your small guy down because if I just want you to single block with this guy. Oh, would you look at that? I will cast this miracle. What an absolute miracle. You never know just how you look through other people. Actually, we should have not. I totally forgot we are going to tap another thing. I think I feel like I'm playing well, but I'm like, that was still a, an overlooked misplay. What is this you're doing? Blessed Alliance. Well, you know what they say. Let's exile a card from your hand. Let's draw three. <laughs> oh, Lord. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna put these guys back, and then we have eight, nine, ten, eleven. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Ah, oh, we whiffed. Should have put the dissolve back. I didn't even. That was poor sequencing on my part. This guy can stay. Are we winning this game? It's hard to tell. Okay, well, <laughs> you got it. Let's bring Roller Rogue because it blocks the 3 1 and it blocks like the other things. Take out the repeal. Repeal isn't super good. Man. That that was a match where I was like, oh dang, we're getting crushed at every turn. And then our opponent's like, nah, B. I got nothing left. And I was like, oh, all right, that's cool. I'm going to keep this hand just because we have three drop Narset. We have Nimble Obstructionist. I mean, if we can draw lands, we're actually in good shape. They mold the six on the play. Oh, boy. I don't know if you know, but it is known that Spellpierce is known to be known as a good magics card. Is that true? Get out of town. So here's the question. Do we Narset or do we Mana Leak? Ooh -wee. They don't have any pressure. I think we're just Narsetting. If they got Spell Pierce, they got Spell Pierce. What? Get a peek. Condescend, I miss those lands, unfortunately, but that's okay. Now they're going to flicker wisp with this guy. Oh, that wouldn't even do anything. Land. Wow, we're good at this game. I don't even want to draw here with Narset because we just have to get rid of a card if we do. 
and uh, I don't know how they, how they win now. Like we have Mana Leak, Snap Mana Leak, Condescend, Cryptic Command, Glenelange, Archmage. Like they can they can resolve like I don't know, man. Venser. Keeping all any and all lands. Bottom top. And we still get to keep Mana Leak? That's gasoline. Cinnamon and sugary. Don't whiff. Oh, treasure map. Actually, I kind of like just treasure mapping here. This has got to be the play, right? Like, we have Frost Titan. Okay. I accept. Baby shark, dude, dude. I hate you guys. You get they do the worst. You guys are the worst chat I've ever seen. No, nah, just kidding. You guys are great. Yep, keep you on top. I want all the lands. I'm a land drawn man. This is my safe space. That means no children's songs. I don't think that's ever meant that. I wish I could tick this NAR setup, if you know what I mean. It means I wish she had a plus one. That's, that's all I'm saying. What kind of weird shit did you guys think I meant? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you know what? It's still good. <laughs> Danny, no. They have five cards. They have cards like Blessed Alliance and Settle the Wreckage and things, though, so... Yeah, that guy's fine. I'm just going to cast a win condition here. If they want to go Torrential Gear Hulk, I can Mana Leak. They can Spell Pierce. I can Treasure it. I'll treasure you. <coughs> so they didn't Spell Queller this. They also, they could just have Blessed Alliance here. Nice way. Oh man, breakfast at Tiffany's now? You're getting all these 90s deep cuts, man. I think I remember the film, yes I recall, I think we both kind of liked it. Look at our hand. <laughs> it's four counter spells, a Snapcaster, and a Frost Titan. Good lord. I think it's a deep cut because it's like 20 years old, right? Like, that's that's what I was referring to as far as deep. Like, you were going real far back. Um, God, is this even a card I care about? No, because I'll just win with Jace. Hmm. 
apparently you'd rather not have me do that. That's okay. I can see your true color, and that's why. <laughs> true color is a great song, dude. I'm a big fan of that Cindy Lauper song. If we just slam Teferi next turn, that's 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 game over, right? We have seven, eight, now we have ten mana, so we can we can Teferi, we can mana leak, we can disallow, we can pay for a, a spell pierce. And they're like, well, that'll do. Oh, here comes here comes big Torrenchi. Torrenchi. Nope. This is like condescend for like a million. Alright, well I'll mana lake now because I can. Teferi resolves. Seven. We have ten mana. This will be four, which leaves us with negate and cryptic command up. Yep, I'm game. If you wanna be my lover, then gotta get with my friend. Yeah, this is this is this is game over. What can you? You can't settle the wreckage. You can't bless an alliance anymore. So those are not live draws. <sighs> See, this is a real issue for me, I'll be honest. <laughs> Why not Geist at the beginning of combat just because you can? You know what? It's a good question. That's what I ask myself regularly. Oh god. Alright, this is... So you're dead, right? Because you can't cast anything. No, Teferi. <laughs> no. No, Teferi. Okay. Wow, this deck is bonkers. It's the best blue deck I've ever seen. Ugh. This deck does seem strong. I agree with you. I actually don't know that Ongo Boingo song. Only a lad. I mean, I might if I heard it, but off the top of my head. Spell Skite. Don't you hate when you think of cookie cooking someone cooking someone all day and when you get home you mess it up? Sammy, did you just confess something to us? Should we be Should we be concerned? Sammy, have you been cooking someone all day? 
<laughs> Monk S is right. <laughs> I've been cooking someone all day and they they just got ruined. It's too late to change it now, Sam. We all know. I kind of want to cut their blue off. It's aggressive, right? Mm, oh god, I hate bottoming that, but I also need to hit a land. Let's do it. Shelly. Frost Titan? How is that mean to you? I'm totally joking, dude. Oh, look, we did hit a Frost Titan. Oh, we also had a Teferi. Ooh, they did nothing. Oh man, Karn, like all these good cards are going to the bottom, but we really need to hit lands here. Jace the Mind Sculptor is not a land, believe it or not. I'm just going to pass here because we have... Cutting the, cutting that Steam Vents off seems good. Now they don't have double red or double blue, but I'm sure that's only temporary. Oh, or not. Oh, we're living the dream, guys. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> I guess when they're when they're stuck on lands and we jace the mind sculptor with four mana up, that's pretty good. Wow, that's that's something right there. I mean, I guess we just submit. Alright. I think we can actually wait to treasure map here because we have negate and essence scatter in hand. Yeah, we can just wait. I don't know what they have, but I don't think it's worth taking down like there's a lot of powerful three drops, like I don't want them to go like black mana Ashiok or something, and then we're just like, well I can't deal with that, so Or nothing. Fascinating. I might... Oh, wait, hold on. Can I... What if I cycle Nimble Obstructionist to get rid of this Arid Mesa? I That was actually great for us because I felt like they needed that fourth land there. And, uh... Yeah, I think we just actually pulled away ahead right now. Electrolyze? They're just trying to draw a card here. Alright, seems fine. What is the absolute hardest way to support our channel? Uh, giving, probably giving, for the hardest way for you would probably be to give me your bank account information. And, uh, you know, like, the freedom to do with it what I want, you know what I mean? That was one of the rudest things I have ever seen you do on the channel. 
Wow, they aired Mesa, I nimble obstructionist. Buddy, don't test me, my friend. The problem is we have three counter spells in hand. Viewers literally do order food delivered to my place, that's true. Um, ugh. Let's see what's coming up. I'm gonna leave that guy. You can have this guy. I might actually Vizier this guy. Because we're gonna have six mana. And then we still get to have Essence Scatter and Negate up. Yeah, we're gonna Vizier this guy for sure. We're gonna draw the Karn. Vizier this guy. Keep up dubs, counter spells. One, two, three, four, Vizier. Uh, they weren't stuck on lands. They had five lands. They had one, two, three, four, five mana. I mean, they missed one land drop in the course of this game because it's turn six. So they should have had six lands. So they do. One they got from here. So they were one behind. And we, we killed one. So, I mean... The problem was I don't have another counterspell for a creature, right? I have Glenelg, Archmage, and Negate in hand. So if they just Windmill Slam something disgusting, like a Sun Titan or something, like I just don't really have an efficient answer for it other than like Dungeon Geist, which is a pretty fragile... Yeah. Ugh, just no. Ah, fudge. That's actually f fine? Sure. Because then we get to Karn and exile your Karn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If only we had a way to get rid of two of your lands, that would be fantastic. This is nice because they have to pay for this now, so... Man, I bet they thought they were hot shit with that Pact of Negation. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, good match. Solid match. Oh, Lord. I mean, they go attack Karn. We get to untap with seven lands, a treasure map, and three cards in hand. Four cards in hand, five cards in hand, like a million cards in hand. Snap keep. I'm going to keep these hands with Temporal Mastery because I don't really care. I'm not going to mulligan. This is a great hand without Temporal Mastery. I think there are there are far too many counter spells in this cube that are all very good. Uh, Archmage. Sure. Any order. Do we just drop a Vryn's Prodigy? Uh, no. I, I'm i playing this like it's not a counterspell deck. And I need to play it like it's a legit control deck. I don't need to play Jace's Vryn's Prodigy. I need to counter their Pack Rat or their Bitter Blossom. If they resolved this because we wanted to play a Jace Vryn's Prodigy, this game would be significantly worse. So, like, this is the lesson. Like, when you play correctly, you get rewarded. That's fine. We can find a land and dungeon geist that guy.
Help me get her out of my heart. When there's just oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'll keep that on top too. Profane command, kill my guy and lose lose next life, I guess. I mean, I can't do this, right? It's not an activated or a triggered ability, I guess. I'm just trying to race them here. Got an island on top? Sure. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that on top for sure. Vasa. Jace. Yeah, this is fine. I don't think we're winning this game, unfortunately. Oh, I'm just 100% blocking if they attack here. If they don't have a removal spell for this guy, that's impressive. Oh, boy. Oh, geez. Um, oh, geez. Hmm. Now we don't want this. Now we're past the point of that nonsense. Oh. Well, okay. That's fine. Oh, that's 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 painful. That's rude. Bottom all of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um yeah, let's get rid of negate. Three. Oh, play a land. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Temporal mastery. Two extra turns was a lot better when they didn't gain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 life. Because they'd probably almost kill them. They'd be at 8, they'd go it down to 2. Actually, repeal seems not bad. I don't want to hit a land is the problem. So, it, I mean, we can tap obliterator down every turn. We can negate one of these guys. 
I was thinking more about Phyrexian Arena, to be honest. I'm going to bottom it. Don't be a land. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, it gets exiled. Temporal Master gets exiled. Wow, I'm an idiot. Oh, uh, it needs five devotion. Jace does not count as one anymore because he's flipped and he has no casting cost. Let's exile. I think we exile the Obliterator, but I also want to attack. So if we negate this, we exile Obliterator. Like we can tap Obliterator down and negate negative negative this guy. No, we'll get rid of this guy. So if we exile Arena and tap Obliterator, we're negativing two this guy, and then they have t five power on board, and we're at one. So we're at six. So, like, I really don't want to go to one here. We have no blockers. Obliterator would be on board. This guy would be negative two. These two would be unchecked. I have no cards in hand. That's totally fine. Oh, Jesus. This deck is nuts. They're just going face here. They're like, you know what? You deserve this. And I'm like, oh no. I'm going to bottom that. Oh, crying out loud. Oh, that's really, that's really strong. Wow. I think we can win this game. Six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or one mana shot. I guess we can actually exile this guy if they make a blocker. No, we can't. We wouldn't be able to tap it. Well, I don't know what they have. Like, if they have a way to kill their own Drolf's Messenger, like, we have to be able to deal with that. So I might want to actually just exile the Drolf's Messenger. In response to countering, or in response to tapping... Oh, I guess they can't make a guy. That makes sense. Okay, so this, this should be game then. I was worried about them making a guy and having to figure out my way around that, so... Um, exile a card from your hand because we can. I'm just going to play this now. And we have Thassa to make our guys unblockable, so I'm not really... Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll just put it on... Yeah, I think we should have gotten rid of the messenger. I mean, they have to draw like a removal spell that can kill a Drolf's messenger, right? Like that's that's what we're that's what we're working with here. Uh, tap all creatures, draw a card. One, two, three, four. Oh, and we have Glenlinger Archmage, so there's actually nothing they can do theoretically, unless they drew like two removal spells. Oh, yeah, that's nuts. Wow, I can't believe we won this game. 
Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I can't even think of something that would have sacrificed as part of the cost. Oh god, we haven't won this game yet. Um, make two zombies. That's fine. Alright. Frosty T. Oh, wow. Are we undefeated in this draft so far? That's unbelievable. I kind of just want Sensor, to be honest with you. Like, it's just, they have a lot of, they have a lot of cards we have to deal with. And I feel like Sensor kind of helps us out with that. Oh yeah, Chupacabra is a creature in opponent controls. That's true. So they couldn't have Shriek mobbed their own guy. They couldn't have Ravenous Chupacabra'd it. Yeah, interesting, interesting. I think we can actually take Thassa out, bring in Sensor. Oh, this hand is super slow. I don't think we can actually keep it despite looking pretty good. Ship Temporal Mastery. Done. Come on, don't do me dirty. Alright, I've already been done dirty. Oh, the Pro Black Sword seems actually really good. Well, we have Disallow up. Usually Disallow is better when they don't have a threat, but... Oh, we can also take tecton Tectonic Edge out because we, they're just monocolored. Uh, yeah, disallow that thing for sure. Did I just copy this? For sure, right? Like, this is a great thing to copy. Like, we're going to go to 12, but then, like, when this guy dies, we just get another one with the plus one, plus one counter on it. Yeah, they finally learned that extra turn spells should exile themselves. Looks at Nexus. Never mind, they've learned nothing. Well, what can you do? I really want to hit a land here, but I really don't want to bounce either of these idiots. I mean, it's better than this guy just attacking and choosing something else next turn, so that's not a land at all. So they're the active player. Theirs will go on the stack first. Mine will go on the stack second. I'm actually not sure what happens there. I think I just got a 1-1. One, one. That's pretty rough. I didn't look far enough ahead into my future.
Yeah, so we block. Theirs goes on the stack first. Ours goes on the stack second. So ours resolves first, comes back into play. It has nothing to copy. So I'm going to take three here, unfortunately. We could have attacked, but if they then then if they play this guy first, God, we're at five. Jesus, drops messenger is a real scumbag. This for sure looks scary. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea how we win this game. We don't. We just have to go to game three. This is gonna be our first. Our first lost for sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's bring in Sword of Light and Shadow. That seems pretty good. Let's take out the sensor We're on the draw play. The draw play. I don't love repeal. I'll bring in Whirler Rogue. I want more bodies to put swords on. Oh, Tech Edge. Dang it. Oh, and it's going to be an opening hand, too. Okay, it was not. This hand actually seems good. If we can hit, like, land, land, I think this hand is actually fantastic. Whew. Okay, we're doing it. Wow, that sucked. If it was turn two, I would have 100% just shot that off. Drawn a free card, maybe hit another land. Uh, bottom, top. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna counterspell a, a blood gas. Ugh, come on, really? This is how we're gonna do. My all-time favorite things about this various, uh, the various weekly MTG streams is when people ask random questions for other departments to people who aren't relevant to those questions. People asking about the two-one heroic decisions for Arena to a to a Gavin, someone who doesn't work on the Arena team. Hey, why were there? Uh, why why in Arena was what does it take two cards to craft one heroic card? Gavin Gavin Verhey. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. This is not my area of expertise. Are they missing land drops too? Oh yes, they are. We are no longer missing the land drops. Uh, put on the bottom. Yep. Hope you don't have two. Thank you. Jace the Mind Sculptor. When our opponent's stuck on two lands. Badger, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 16 months? That's almost two years. Actually, it's a it's not. I was thinking of I was thinking of eight month years. That's good. That's a good card. They didn't even go at our Jace? Whoa. Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, let's put Temporal Master. Let's put Temporal Master back second because I want to be drawn that bad boy. Um, we got five mana. We're definitely keeping up Dissolve and Snap. Um, we're gonna play Whirler and then Temporal Mastery. It's your boy. Well, I hope we don't have a two-man removal spell for this guy, because that would make me, like, legit sad. I would have a real legit sadness. Hmm, Sword of Fire and Ice. That's a good one. Yep, I will cast this. That is a good one. Why 
Wow, we whiff. Why aren't we jacing first? What's wrong with us? This is terrible. We're doing terribly right now. Yep, that card's bonkers. Wow, we just that's so that's so bad. That we're gonna like Jason not even that's so stupid. We're gonna lose because we're terrible at this game. And that makes sense. I understand it. So we put Snapcaster, like we can't even guarantee a hit with this. We can bounce the sword. We'll definitely be bouncing the sword and then countering it on the way back down. I really want to hit a land here. Which makes me want to look first and see if we hit anything. I think we're gonna I think our odds of not hitting something is extremely low. Okay, we got a land here. Okay, so we're going to go land, we're going to Cryptic Command, we're also going to keep something else. We'll probably just Augur of Bolus. Let's put back... We want a Cryptic. So we're going to put Treasure Map and Disallow back. Grab the disallow. Put these two back. Get in there again. Okay, I think we tried to salvage the situation somewhat. And if you guys want to support the channel other than Twitch subscribing, definitely check out patreon.com slash Uh You can donate for like as little, you can pledge as little as one or two dollars a month, which is a lot easier than a Twitch subscription. So if you guys are looking for a way to support the YouTube videos or the Twitch videos or any of the other content, um, that's definitely an option you can take. Um, and I really appreciate the support. It's a, it's a great way to support the channel. Um... Let's go block here and return a permanent to his hand. Draw a card. And now we get to disallow or dissolve it on the way back down. If we hit another land, we can dungeon geist as well. Oh, that's even better. Oh, that's very good. Also, Narset shuts off Arena, which is pretty insane. Attacking Bloodgast into Narset seemed very strange there. Do we just Karn this Bitter Blossom? No, because then they get to play Sword. <laughs> so let's not do that. Main. I guess we'll. I guess we'll Jace here. Um, do we play land? We did. So we can just put two lands back. Yeah, I think the actual Bitter Blossom is probably going to kill them. And if they want to replay Sword, then we get to... Okay, we just win the game. Thank you guys for watching. This deck was insane. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore, Cool Stuff Inc., and uh, Mana Traders. Those are both sponsors of the stream. You can find an article that I wrote went up just yesterday. It's about some sweet modern decks. Uh, so definitely check that out and uh, leave a comment on the article if you guys are able to. It uh, helps me out. looks good for engagement and um, then I get to interact with you guys more. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time.